Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today I will pick the winner of the shelf of the month and we will also create this battle bus from Fortnite. Before we get started, I will pick the winner to support new artists. If you want to be featured as well, join my Snubs group Clay Creations and share your art within the group. Drum roll! Today's winner of the month is Claysmith. He is creating like crazy with so many shelves and great ideas. And this is the reason I personally use Snubs, not only to organize, but also to get inspiration. Thanks a lot Clay Smith and thanks a lot to Snaps to support this great idea and to sponsor this video. Let's get started with the battle bus from Fortnite. I read some comments which said, dude, did he say Fortnite? No, I said Fortnite with a no. Maybe I should work on my pronunciation. Pro pro pronunciation, sorry. <laughs> um when creating the battle bus, it's important to understand that it contains a lot of geometrical forms and these are pretty hard to create just with your hands and this is why I'm using my knife a lot to chop away the clay and to get straight lines and straight edges and I think this worked pretty well. Okay, <laughs> now we are working on the roof to get the right form for the body of the bus. And now we will also use the knife to create this slanted backside of the bus as well. In the last tutorial from Fortnite I told you that I haven't played it yet, but I wanted to let you know I installed it. So I think within the next days you will um, you can expect another warrior on the island which will be called and named Clay Claim of course or maybe Simon I don't know <laughs> so prepare to get another enemy <laughs> why did I create the bus well I got so many requests to create not only Fortnite characters but also to create this battle bus and I will show some of these comments <laughs> yeah this is um, some kind of tricky I wanted to prepare the part where the wheels will be attached I think this part is called fender of the bus and the problem was that I didn't know how big the wheels would be will be we will create them after we finish the body yeah this is a silver a thin layer of silver clay we attach to the bottom of the bus and this will be the bonnet which is black on the battle bus so I use this blue piece of clay for reference for the right size and I'm placing the black clay right into position yeah this was a bit tricky I'm sure you know what this will be this will be the part um, where the lights of the bus will be attached also on the back side as well and we are almost finished with the body of the bus what is missing yeah <laughs> this blue piece of clay which will be the stairs it's hanging to the ground I really hope um, <laughs> It is uh, the, the wheels have be um, have to be that big that the part of the stairs doesn't touch the ground. Yeah, this is just a black a thin layer of black clay for the windows and also for the door on both sides. And now we will work on the wheels. I was looking forward to cre uh, to create them. Um, the two wheels in the front are a bit thinner. I think this is why, um, because the two wheels on the back side are just doubled. So there are four wheels in the background. And these silver pieces are the construction which will hold the bus in the air attached to the balloon. <laughs> so I'm very curious if this all works and turns out well how I thought it would be. So for me, it's still very exciting. 
<laughs> yeah, this is the structure we built to attach the balloon later. And there are a lot of details and I'm currently creating these details on the roof. Some of you already have seen the image from the barbarian barrel, barrel barbarian, <laughs> which I posted on Instagram on my account Clay Claim. And of course, there will be another tutorial from Clash Royale, and this will be my Easter special, Easter holiday special. It will be uploaded tomorrow. And even this bus will get a tiny roll, and you will see this bus in tomorrow's tutorial from Clash Royale. So um, yeah, I hope you are also that excited that I am, because it's not only a normal clay tutorial, it is, but there will be also a paperclip. No, <laughs> there will be also some stop motion animation. This is not the big project which I have been working on for weeks. Uh, this big project, which is still secret, will be uploaded next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even more excited about that. So, for all of you Clash Royale fans, and I'll include myself as well, there will be another video tomorrow. So don't miss that as well. Yeah, these tiny, tiny details, there were, there were so many tiny details. I built uh, this structure with a paper clip, but I decided to remove it in the end. You will see why it didn't really work as a stand for the balloon. So I had to recreate this part as well. Yeah, this part um, is attached to the tube, to the yellow tube we will create in a minute. And I assume it is a part of the air conditioning system of the bus, but I'm not sure about that. I'm even not sure about um, what I am currently creating, what this is. I have no idea. And this is why it is so important that I play, actually play Fortnite. But again, I already installed it and I will start playing it within the next days. Yeah, this is the tube we just attached to this strange thing <laughs> and I was looking forward to create these because it looks so great with clay you can bend them easily the fender parts of the bus and also the tiny lights which come in white and orange yeah this will be the Bunsen burner where I will attach the flame the wooden flame after oven hardening this is the back side of the bus. It's quite easy. There, there's another door and some lights and that's it for the back side of the bus. Well, of course, also the bumper as well. And that's it for the back side. And we are ready to go into the oven. Now we will work on the big balloon. And I used this technique before for the skeleton barrel from Clash Royale. Check out this tutorial as well where I not only created a balloon, but I also created a bursting balloon while time is freezing. I think this was one of my most exciting tutorials from Clash Royale, actually. Now we are coating, <coughs> sorry, we are coating this piece into a very thin layer of gray clay and you see that this clay is a bit dirty. Well, I didn't really care, as on the images from the battle bus, I also saw that this balloon is a bit dirty as well, and also the bus, so I didn't care too much about dirt on my creation. And there's this green line on the balloon as well, and another green outline on the bottom of the, bu uh, of the <laughs> yeah, of the balloon as well. So here we go. And this piece is almost finished, but there's this wrapper on the top of the balloon. I would say it's for keeping the balloon in position, in the right position. But I'm no expert in the field of ballooning. <laughs> and what is left? These tiny pieces where we will attach the rope which is going to the bus. 
in the end. But for now, this balloon is also almost finished. Just some more pieces to attach the, the rope to, or at least the, the placeholders. And I use these paper clips again to create tiny eyelets where we will also attach the rope to. So just stick these tiny pieces into the clay and after oven hardening it shouldn't be a problem and they should be very strong and straight in position. Yeah, using my modeling tool for some further details and these tiny holes where also the rope will be just go through and I guess we're ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked battle bus and freshly baked details we will assemble. But for now I'm using a black pen for these lines on the bus itself. And there's also some kind of writing on the side of the bus, but I was not able to read it. Maybe some of you know what it says on the side of the bus. Please let me know in the comments. I'm very curious what it is. I'm using the transparent polish for the windows to make them shine a little bit. And now we will glue all these tiny pieces onto the bus and we will assemble the structure. I'm using my super glue for very fast drying, but be careful with that. There were some accidents in my clay career. <laughs> Maybe I will tell you one day about my glue accidents. <laughs> yeah, this is the front wheel and um, I used just uh, another piece of clay to make it a bit higher and it worked pretty well. Some more details and of course also on the other side as well. Just glue the wheels in position and also these metal pieces. Yeah, this is uh, the thing which makes this bus look unique. These metal pieces, <laughs> whatever they are called. Maybe balloon straps, balloon barret, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's it for all the tiny details. I will just shortening these a little bit. And well, now we can start working on the balloon as well. And I use my knife to cut it open. It's quite satisfying, <laughs> but it was very hard to open. It took me some while, but here we go. And now we can remove this aluminum foil. I used, already used aluminum foil, so I'm very um, careful and saving with aluminum foil. Simon was here, really. <laughs> and we will glue these two pieces together. Because aluminum isn't an, an, in it, an infinite resource on Earth, so I really try to be very saving with that as well. Yeah, I just removed um, <laughs> the paper clips I put in before, and I'm using a bit longer paper clips that I could place the balloon on top. But I'm still not sure if this will work out, but we will see in a minute. And I will again use my super glue for that. I just love that stuff. <laughs> Although it's dangerous, I admit it. Yes, it works. And now we will use this very thin rope, gray rope. It should have been a bit thicker, by, but I didn't have any thicker rope, so I used this one. And we will attach it to the bus. Of course, for me, for my model, it's just decoration. For the real battle bus, this is where the balloon, the balloon is hanging on. And stick it through the eyelids and glue it to the side of the bus. Yeah, works great, removing it with my scalpel. 
And now we will just add some more details. The satellite dish for example and also these tiny sign which says battle bus and we need this piece of paper two times one for the front of the bus right between the lights and also one sign for the back side of the bus also between the lights as well now some more transparent polish for the balloon for a shiny look <laughs> and this is the Bunsen burner I was looking forward to create all time it's just wool white and blue wool and we will place it in the hole and I guess that's it the battle bus from Fortnite I think this was one of my longest tutorials well Remember, there will be a Clash Royale tutorial tomorrow and that's it for today. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow, take care, bye!